What's up, what's up? This is Eastside Boys, this man. This your cousin, Lil' Bo. This your boy, Big Sam. Y'all know what? We just jumped off the porch, man. With Dirty Glove Bastards. Blah. Yeah, bitch, you. Baby girl, me and you been friends for a while. But last night you crossed the line and got for a while. Yes, sir, yes, sir. We right back at it, y'all. We got a special one for y'all. We got some legends here. We got Big Sam and Lil' Bo. AKA the Eastside Boys jumping off the porch today. What's up with y'all? What's up, man? Man, man. we chilling. I'm gonna jump out of them up for real, what? Yes, sir. Come on now. Come on with Don't it, bro. Your hip. Before <laughs> end, I'm gonna jump out like Superman. <laughs> <laughs> man, how y'all boys feeling, man? man? We feeling good, man. Got a new project going on, man. And back out here working, man. That's what's up, bro. Day one management, done that records, man. Yeah. Yep. We back. We back on it, man. Yeah. No, nah, that's what's up, bro. And it's good to see y'all back out here, man. Like, oh, yeah. I know we saw y'all um, performing at the Winterfest. Yeah. Uh, with Lil John, that was y'all first time uh, performing together on stage in like 20 years. Yeah. Yeah. Man, how, wh what was that feeling like, bro? I mean, I know it had to just be crazy nostalgic getting back, you know, getting out there. I ain't gonna lie to you. I feel like a two piece and a biscuit, man. <laughs> huh. Two piece with a biscuit on the side. It that's felt good, man. Like, you know, old family reunion, yeah. man. Yeah, yeah. Nah, that's what's up, man. That's what's up. And was it when you guys um, got on stage together? Did it just click just like that? Like the old, like 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 how like old school. We've been doing it so long, man. It yeah. clicked up, man. Yeah. You know, just how we went on stage together for a long time. You know, it still just clicked. Yeah. Like, like we never lost a beat. Yeah, nah. And the reaction was crazy, man. Like the fans was happy. Like you know what I'm saying, Atlanta. Like the culture. I mean, for it being, you know what I'm saying, I was celebrating 50 years of hip hop, like it was just, you yeah, know, a monumental, yeah. you know what I'm saying, time. So, yeah, 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 man. Yeah. 50 years of hip hop, boy, ain't that something? That's crazy, ain't it? Yeah, we got, what, 25 out of it? Yeah. Out of the 50, that good. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, How'd I just turn 50. Word. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so right there, like right, right there, there yeah. when hip hop started, like, yeah. you know what I mean? And how does it feel to know that you guys like really had a big contribution to these 50 years of hip hop. Like it's not like just, okay, we was just in it. Like you guys really had a huge impact on the culture. It felt good, man. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Um, you know, a lot of times we get overlooked for a lot of stuff that, that we had a part our hand in, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. for them to acknowledge us, like the Falcons brought us out there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? For them to acknowledge us, that man, it felt huge. real good, man. You yeah. know what I'm saying? No, that's what's up, man. And that's why we got y'all here, you know what I'm saying? The, let y'all tell y'all story and to be able to give y'all flowers and just shed the light on y'all, you know what I mean? So I'm just gonna, gonna say one flowers. I'm gonna huh. say one hey, thing oh, though. Hey, hey, oh. hey man, it's all about giving them flowers no, I'm just while we here. No, no, I, I got one know, thing man. to say. That was not no white girl in my trunk last week. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Hey man, we, 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 ain't, we, ain't, we ain't gonna incriminate, <laughs> we ain't gonna do none of that, you know what I'm saying? We ain't gonna ask you none of that, you know what I mean? She said she was 22. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Damn. I wanna know where I want <laughs> right. So I was in South Carolina fishing. Hey, they doing too much canceling, bro. I was in South Carolina fishing, dog. You know what I'm saying? Man, I was in family barbecue. Just got my fishing pads. I was in South Carolina fishing, dog. <laughs> no, I can dig it, man. What was, what was you uh what was you down there catching, bro? I know they got them like striped bags. No, I'm just saying so he won't say I was yeah. in with him. <laughs> Hey, see, I really I'm be you, I'm out of town. <laughs> I really be out there fishing, so you know, uh, uh, getting it in. No, uh, uh, but yo, let's uh, let, let's really tap in the y'all story, man. Like, tell us like where it began. You know what I'm saying? And, and can you clarify too, the East Side boys? Like, is it East Side as Decatur or is it East Side as East Atlanta? Well, East Side, Side Decatur, Decatur right? Keller yes, Road, McAfee, Glenwood, Western Chapel, Austin Drive, Panola Road. Yeah, yeah. 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 Word. Now, the east side of Decatur, man. That's what's up, man. Yeah. What was it like coming up in Decatur? It was good, man. You know, I was I was a humble kid, man. My mom and them had a they had a they had a cherry farm. <laughs> man, don't believe it, man. That man. I used to be out there every morning before school picking house, cherries. Hey, his house was. I used to get the little splinters in my hair and everything, man. <laughs> his house before was, school. His house was a party spot, <laughs> man. Uh -huh. He was a DJ, man. He used to crank the garage up, man, and yeah, yeah, everybody yeah. in the neighborhood used to come over to his garage and. Party and uh, they're just party. I ain't yeah. gonna <laughs> man, he's a party, he drink, smoke in there. Yeah. yeah, you know what I'm talking about. We, and my dad was a uh, full county sheriff. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, R.I.P. to my dad. You know, he police car outside. Yeah, who brother. coming over? Who coming over there? The police car right outside. Uh, <laughs> so, so you are well, really we, in there, we in there having fun. Who, yeah. who coming? Who coming to knock at the door? Right, right. It's a sheriff car in the driveway. Who coming to knock at the door? 
So saying you started out as DJing, bro. Yeah. Like what what got you inspired to to tap into the, the wheels of steel? Man, um Jam Master J. Huh. You know what I'm saying? And, and my next door neighbor when they stay in Eastwick, they it, like they had a, a brother DJ, one other brother you did graffiti, and then the other brother they used to just break dance. Yeah. So we used to go in their basement, break dancing and stuff, and he used to DJ, he wouldn't ever let me touch the turntable though. Yeah. Then my cousin started DJing, and he'll let me touch a little bit. Then my dad took me to a Fresh Fest and um, Jam and J were coming down in a uh, spaceship. Huh. DJ, run, run, run. And I told my dad, I said, that's what I want to do. Word. I want to I want to do that. And that was at the time where the DJ was really, I mean, there was a huge focus on the oh, DJ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the DJ, some of the DJs would almost be bigger than the rapper. You yeah. Know? Just like Jazz and Jeff, no album. Yeah. He the DJ on the rapper. Just to let y'all know his DJ name was DJ Lickamlow. <laughs> Before Big Sam, just let uh, y'all know, yeah. Exactly. Oh, my bad, I love you, I love you, dog, I love you. Is that that now? Hey, man. Is that that now? Hey. We out you. Was that really the DJ name? Yeah, I, yeah. I had a couple of them. That one, Lickle Lowe was one. The thing I know, we growing up together, we played Little League baseball together. Yeah. DJ Six Four Shout. I stayed down the street, he stayed up the street. Yeah, I know, yeah, DJ Lickle Lowe. Right. DJ Six yeah. Four Shout. And at yeah. what point did y'all first connect? Shoot, man. Uh, what was it? Little League Baseball? Yeah, we played Little League Baseball at Gresham Park together, yeah. man. Yeah. We growed up together, man. Yeah. I stayed down the street. He stayed up the street, you know. Yeah, my grandmom stayed in the same neighborhood with him. And then as we got older, my mom done moved over there. So, you know, we always been around each other until you went to college. Okay. I've been around this nook a long time. <laughs> <laughs> so, Bo, what was it like for you growing up on the east side? Oh, I, I, was, I was into the sports, man. You okay. know what I'm saying? I went to college. Then I used to come home from college and you played football, right? You went yeah, to college yeah. play football, right? Went, came home from college, go to party with him, and yeah. she one part I just decided I wasn't going back. God, you the fuck? Yeah, lick him low, yeah. did it? Duh, huh? <laughs> lick him low, did it? It's always me, boy. I swear. And what kind of parties was you throwing? Was it like man? I've been doing house parties, or I used to DJ at my school dances and stuff, okay. and um, mostly just house parties. You know what I'm saying? Quick money, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Quick one fit the right quick. Take my stuff over there, rock the part out, get my money, head back to the house, yeah. put everything back in the garage, just keep on doing what I was doing. Okay. okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I mean, everybody gonna stop blaming me for their misfaults. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. So you had like that, like, like, like a bro house and house party, like you... yeah, yeah, yeah. That was that was me. Huh. Yeah. Didn't nobody bump my table though, but we were good. Yeah. So I know when that movie came out, you like man, they 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 out here, they they done wrote about my life. Yeah, yeah, man, shoot, but I, I just have a ball, man. I just had my little six crates. See, I was DJing when you had to take the records. Right. Now they just take your laptop. Right, right, right. You know right. what I'm saying? Easy DJ. Nah, I wouldn't do an easy DJ. We yeah, had to the slow the music yeah, down with yeah, your crazy. fingers, yeah. put the quad on there, all kind of stuff, man. Yeah. Real turntablism. Yeah, real turntable. And was you like into like scratching and like doing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, all I just scratch me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't doing all them tricks and you know, taking my shirt off and all that, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I ain't want to do that because then and the men going to be mad because the ladies like, oh, look at the DJ. Yeah. <laughs> then see at Sam how we had the big dice game going on. Oh, yeah. And we had a live DJ at the same time, so you couldn't beat that. Yeah. Yeah. And they were smoking, drinking, but shit. I, man, I should have charged y'all some money back then. Yeah. I wouldn't even think. So let me ask y'all this. Like when y'all was coming up, you know, did y'all have like big homies, mentors, like cats that was kind of like schooling y'all to the game, helping y'all, you know what I'm saying, as y'all was moving around the neighborhood? Oh man, a lot of cats we grew up with, they end up, uh... <laughs> nah, we didn't. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we didn't. We found ourselves trying to get them, hey man, come on man, just ride with them, man. You don't need no clothes, we gonna take care of all that. They doing just other get stuff, on the man. bus, let's ride. They were doing other stuff, bad stuff. We yeah. pulled a tour bus down in front of the house, man, like, y'all come on. Yeah. You know, half of them didn't go in. Oh, they were going before the bus pulled up now. Oh, they were going, but oh yeah, 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 we going, where we going? Hey, the bus be here about 15 minutes. I'm finna go up to the house, and we finna put the cars up, yeah. and get on the bus. All right, all right, come down there, the block gone. Everybody right. gone, it's ghost town. Yeah, no, there was 30 people down here, but everybody gone. Yeah, why everybody bounced though? Like what? Hey, man. Cause they was on some other stuff, man. You know how it go in the yeah. hood. Everybody yeah. want to go, but when it's time to go, don't nobody want to move. Yeah, 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 folks ain't, folks don't ain't. Don't nobody want to move. Put in that work. Yeah, yeah. Nah, it sound good you. at first. So but they had to put in no work. You just had to get on the bus and, and party. Get huh. on the bus. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna go to the mall, get some clothes, get some shoes. You scrape, man. Yeah. Had your room, you good, man. Had your room and everything, you good.
good. Right. Oh, they gonna probably have a chat room, but yeah, they would have. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I wasn't getting everybody room. <laughs> but look at man, three of y'all get in the room, got that go. It's two beds in there, and a chair, and the floor. You know me, I take a chair in a minute. <laughs> Right. So you started out like you, so you was DJing and doing parties, but then like you had a party bus too that you would? No, 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 no. I'm no, talking about like the tour bus. Tour bus. Oh, okay, got gotcha, you, got gotcha, you. That's gotcha. when we okay. started yeah, doing yeah. the music. Right. Yeah. So when would y'all say uh, you jumped off the porch? Like at what point, you know what I'm saying, at what age, you know what I'm saying, did that come about? I was like 14, 15. Yep. Yeah. I, I started DJing at 14 and. I think I came out the porch then. You know what I'm talking you about? You jumped off? Yeah, man. Shout out to my aunt, man. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Because every time I went over high with my cousin, I was definitely jumping out the porch. Yeah. <laughs> definitely out the porch, man. Shout out to my aunt. Huh. She, she knows who she is. <laughs> and what was you seeing? Like, what was you experiencing in them, you know what I'm saying, during them times? Psh, man, what was I experience? I was, going to, I was going to Magic City when I was 15. Huh. They just leave it at that. Yeah. <laughs> he was, know that's his cousin over there. He huh. know. I was 15 at Magic City downstairs where the, where the women be at, where they get dressed and all that. They yeah. coming in there with butt naked, pitching on my cheeks. Yeah, like, yeah. Huh. Y'all upstairs, I'm in the right spot. Ain't got to spend no money. <laughs> VIP. <laughs> no, nah, that's what's up, man. And so, like, what was the scene like back then, like, you know, I, I definitely know like in the BMF era and like how, you know what I'm saying, money was just being thrown around the clubs like crazy, but what was it like even coming up like at the age of 15, 16, like being in these strip clubs? And I mean, not, and now that's like normal. I'm sure like in some of them days, like it was, you know what I'm saying, it was looked at like as, as, as crazy. Like, yeah, it, was def- it was definitely crazy, man. Yeah. Uh, especially like I had, I, had a, I had a beard coming in when I was 14, so. <laughs> I'm going to clubs, you probably 21 at, with my cousin them that was 21. Yeah. They calling them, they tell me, hey man, don't, come on in. They tell me, come on in, I'm like, hey, we don't, I mean, one time we don't cut up the license and um, got a ticket and put the license with the ticket so they be say I'm 21. Yeah. They ain't even check it, man. I was mad, I don't cut my license up, I was mad, I don't See, know. See, they were doing that, I was still in South Carolina. Ain't know they were doing that. Hey, man. Huh. Nah, I've been messing with you. Say, hey, <laughs> my Friday and Saturday night used to be, everybody else was going like Sharon Showcase, something like that. Man, I'd be at, uh, what a little spot on Covenant Highway? Mama Showcase? Nah, it wasn't Mama Showcase then. It was Sensation. Oh, okay. I used to be in Sensation with Dion used to be in there with Dion running around in the city. Yeah. With the long mink tone up in there and stuff. I just been there with Dion was in there. Uh, one night we came out and I remember I about to step out of the curb. My cousin grabbed me back. He was like, boy. What you doing, boy? You drunk? I like what you talking about. That boy, you almost got hit. I said, boy, that deal, boy. He could have took the leg off, boy. What you talking about? Huh. You talking about, boy, that money? You know, that's how I don't think. I'm like, boy, that's money, boy. Yeah, I was 16 real. already. Yeah. I'm gonna get money from Dion and the club because uh-huh. I ain't supposed to be in here. Get that settlement. <laughs> I'm gonna sue everybody. Yeah, nah, for real, for real. So, Bo, when did you like know that you wanted to pursue music? I just started hanging with Sam. Came home. Okay. You no, know, we started hanging with our one of our buddies, our player Puncho. He was working at our uh, So So Def up there with Jermaine, and yeah. you know we used to go out with the, be a, be the little Jermaine little street team, and you know and you know that back that little time yeah. I ain't had nothing else to do. So was y'all when y'all first uh, started working together? Like was it on some DJ Jazzy Jeff Fresh Prince tip? Like was you yeah. a, on the DJ tip and you rapping or like how? Oh, I, I was just DJ and it was just my partner. Yeah, he just come with me, help me carry some crates here there. You know right. what I'm saying? Sit off in the party, you know, and you know, do what party people do, and uh, yeah, yeah, you know, we got, we, like you said, we were running with Puncho, and uh, Lil John was his uh, A and R and hype man. Okay, but we used to go on the road with him sometimes, so yeah, it just went from there. Word, word. And at what point did you guys record like your first song? Like how how that come about? Uh, we was in the club called The Gate, in Decatur on Columbia Drive, and um, I had this song called Who You With. Okay. And we was in the club and they played mystical, here I go, and that's what I wrote the song to. Okay. And we was just in there, some old folk that was in there that knew the hook. We started singing the hook, who you with? Who you with? Who you with? Goddamn, who you with? That was the original hook. Yeah. So then, you know, you got like 10, 15 people singing, screaming this out, folk looking like, what in the world going on? And then John was like, hey man, who song that is? I was like, that's my song. He was like, you wanna do a record? I was like, yeah, let's do a record. About three days later, he called me with a beat on the phone. And we started doing the song. Wow. Come to find out that the first song I wrote, that was the first beat he did. Wow, yeah. damn, that's crazy. 
And that, I mean, that's that's like one of my favorite songs from y'all. Like that's, I mean, Appreciate that song it. is a. Appreciate it. And, like, and the crazy thing about it, when he, when we did the song Who You With, George Clinton was in the studio with yep, us. Even though yep. he was just walking around, yeah. Yeah, yeah George Clinton yeah. came in, yeah. yeah. Damn, that's crazy. That's yeah. legendary right there. It took a two day to do that song. Wow. That was our first time recording. That was my first time really being in a major studio, too. So, Word. yeah, that was our first time recording. And Big Boy got drunk. I'm looking. they like, what boy at? I'm looking for him. I go out there. He laying all on the car. <laughs> throwing up and shit. I'm like, man, I got to take it in home. Throwing up. Hey, this up, man. Don't y'all believe that. <laughs> hey, lay the one down on the whole ride home. Oh. What was the experience like recording for the first time? Like, was it... Did you just have to like keep redoing it? Was you able to like, you know, catch it with your catch your bars? Like how? Yeah, we, I mean, like? we caught it because it was all chance. So it was just basically repetitive, just yeah. repeating the stuff like all over party. and over, yeah. over and over. Yeah, it was like a big party. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We was in there, we were smoking, drinking. Yeah, everybody having fun. You know what I'm saying? Tripping out, joning and shit. You know, yeah. it was fun. It wow. was cool. Now I could dig it, man. Cause I would, cause I, I would almost like expect to hear or, or think that I would hear like even though like it was chance being like damn and nah like when we first got in there like man I had to redo it a couple of times like it was crazy. I don't think we, I don't think we redid them. Mm -hmm. We just went through them and then you know laid it again, laid yeah. it again, laid it again. I don't think it was none of that. All right hold on cut stop stop. Like when you're doing a verse. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times you do a verse you be like hey hold on man take it back take it back. I, I gotta hit that word right. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. nah we were just out there raw with it just. Yeah. Raw man, no like condom. You said a big party, yeah. Who's yeah. out there raw? No condom, man. Yeah. Word, word. Oh wow. <laughs> hey, yo. No, no condom. <laughs> raw, just raw well, dog. Just with giving it. it. Ooh, <laughs> just raw dog. With it. And so, raw, so you raw with the white girl in the trunk? Oh man. Hey oh, man, man she said she was twenty two, <laughs> man. He, he doing a lot. Man. I gotta yeah, go get doing her. a lot. <laughs> See, when we leave here, I gotta go get her out the trunk. Cause I don't want no problem. No. You know what I'm saying? They they catching up with everybody. I'm trying to get them smooth this out. So just leave me alone. Let me smooth it out. Uh -huh. I won't be on nobody's blog. Let me smooth uh -huh. this out. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, I mean, it had to be obvious that when y'all was first doing the song in the club, y'all knew it was a hit because y'all went and recorded at the studio. But then did y'all know that it was going, you know, be as big and as impactful? And, you know, what I mean, and then like from what y'all had started was going to be as impactful as it ended up being. Nah, not really, man, because, uh, shoot, that record, we worked that record about six months, man. Huh. I remember we went to Greg Street, went to the V103. That was our first time at a radio station, me and him anyway. Right. So we up in there, and Greg listening to it. We about through the second verse, he go, I like the song, but when y'all gonna rap? He said, ain't no, y'all just chatting, ain't nobody we rapping. Like, yeah. We like, that's the, the who you with is the hook. That other stuff is the, the rap part, like. Oh, I don't know about that. I don't know. <laughs> we just stuck with it. We like, man, we know this is a hit. Yeah. Freak Nick came up. We started passing out the tapes. You know what I'm saying? We gave them tapes without our pictures on the stuff. And shoot, before you know it, six months later, boy, that mother bubbling from different um, colleges and stuff from the Freak Nick. People liking the song. The fraternity, sorority liking the song. Yeah. And Gray Street calling us, hey, man, I need to get that record. I need to get that record, man. You know, yeah. a lot of people called it, need to get the record. You know, we had Birmingham, uh, Alabama turned up on it. Yeah, that was our like second that. home, Birmingham. Wow. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we'd pick up, we'd pick up, I ain't doing nothing on the weekend, and just go down to Birmingham, and the hotel we stay at, the Ramada Inn, they they give a free room. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They had young folk working down there, so they would give us free suites and stuff, and yeah. we'd go hit the club or just chill out at the hotel, you know? We'd just go to the lobby and say, who you with? You got a room. <laughs> 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 say, uh, is it, say it's automatic. <laughs> yeah. Can y'all talk about like during that time hitting what we call or what we know is the Chitlin circuit? You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. All them different cities. Man, the Chit know. to me, the Chitlin circuit is the best circuit, man. You get your real fans. For yeah. yeah. sure. Yeah. The Chitlin was awesome, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. man. I don't like Chitlin though, but the Chitlin circuit. Yeah. Yeah. Chitlin circuit, that, that, was, the, that was it right so there. You don't rock no hard mugs, none of that? No, I don't, I don't rock none of that though. None of that, but. You know what I'm saying? Like right now, you know, like it's almost like we're starting back over. Yeah. So, you know, we're going back through the Chitlin circuit and the main and the main markets too. So, you know what I'm saying? Like we hitting both of them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So we're showing Chitlin circuit love, main market, they showing yeah. us love. You know what I'm saying? So we out here, man. Yeah. We working. Yeah. Yeah. Like they say, so we out here. We out here. Now, being artists that have, I mean, y'all, you know, have got over 20 plus years in the game. Um, but then also recognizing that you guys are, you know, in y'all comeback phase. 
how difficult was it to come to terms with, okay, we do got to like go back through like some of those grind and steps and, you know what I mean? Touch some of the, you know, uh, chitlin circuit or you, per se, or some of the, you know what I mean? Like some of those early platforms and things like that. Man, it, sure, it was, really wasn't that, man. You know what I'm saying? Cause it ain't like, it ain't like when we got big, big, like we just let that go. You know what yeah. I'm saying? We already, we already knew where we came from. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so we ain't the type of folk that sit back on the internet, on the computer and just press the button like, yeah, send that on out. And see, our main thing is, Whoever go on after us, in trouble. Yeah, so. How we, we gonna shut the club? We, we, we have a lot yeah. of folks talking about, yeah. can they go on before? Hey man, let me go on for y'all. Can we go on for them? <laughs> nope. Huh. We gonna go man. on where you put a win on. Whoever right. behind us, y'all in trouble, yeah, buddy. in trouble, man. I mean, we should do shows and had the, the Montel Williams and the, the R. Kelly's coming. Hey, yeah. hey man, they wanna go on before y'all. And John, you be like, nope. <laughs> they after us, they gonna be out there. Huh. They gonna have to work. They gotta work for it. Man, cause y'all take all the oxygen, all yeah, the Yeah, we take all the energy out away, the, man. Out the spot. Yeah, we you take all the energy away. Yeah. Women women have they don't got no new perm, but then they gotta get it permed up again. Yeah. I just permed it up last night. Man, baby, you got that hey, that shit coming back in now. You gotta get it permed again, man. Yeah. Try to tell you, you got if you wearing a suit at one hour show, but you gonna be sitting in that yeah, little shirt all the way down, opened up. Like you, Michael Jackson. <laughs> Try to tell you, man. <laughs> hey, we gonna we tell we bring the energy, man. So we yeah. love to do that, man. You know. Nah, that's what's and, up. And as an artist, it make you you gotta work harder when you come behind us. So yeah, as an artist, it make you like, man. You know what? I had to work for them. For them them applause, but yeah. But then we went throwing them draw last after they got through, but I had to work for them. Uh, I mean, y'all have some anthems though. So I mean, yeah. it's like. Yeah, when y'all perform, I mean, then y'all going back to back with hits. Yeah. So, oh yeah, we bike to bike. That's how we yeah. do them now. We just we just bam 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 bam. We just hit them. Yeah. We don't get too much pause unless we get ready to go to the little slow song. Yeah. And we'll give you a little pause. But other than that, we just bam 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 just hit them back to back. So you mentioned um so you mentioned in the beginning, you know, we're uh getting like some pushback from Greg Street, you know, because it was it was like chant music. Yeah. Yeah. So now this was also during a time where New York wasn't accepting Southern no. music. Yeah. So I could imagine like how difficult it was for you guys to, you know, get recognition and get accepted, you know, in these other, um, you know, in these other areas. Like, what was that like? Was it a lot of pushback? Was it a lot of walls and barriers y'all had to push yeah. through? When we first came out, we weren't even looking for New York. You know what I'm saying? We were just all about the South. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just all about the just South. Serving, That's yeah. it. Just, uh, just the South. From Texas to GA, man, we were just, yeah. South Carolina, a little bit of North Carolina, because North Carolina, they thought they were from New, New York. York. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> Cause I mean, we did a show in North Carolina, and John said, hey, man, I had to change the show up. I said, what you mean, I had to change the show up? Man, I had to put uh, a lot of New York stuff behind the who you with. Because we'll do who you with and run it back, and we'll have like breakdown be like, um, like C Murder, fuck the mother niggas, all that type uh, stuff uh, coming yeah. up. Uh, yeah. But we was up there, but we had to do Puffy, <laughs> hey, hey, take that, hey, take that, hey, take that, hey, take that. Hey, we had to do all that type stuff. So, hey, 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 and I hey. thought he was lying because I ain't never been in North Carolina. We got out there where they had on shorts and Timberlands. I was like, what in the world? Like next state over, but in South Carolina, they dress like we dressing. So, huh? You know what I'm saying? But hey, it worked out though. Yeah, we we turned it out. Yeah, we turned it out. But we we didn't really get up into New York, man, until we got with TBT. Mm. So the record, label, the record labels in New York. Yeah. So you know, we did BB Kings and. Um, I thought I don't think we did one. Yeah, God, that was a tour, the great. Yeah, we was tour. on tour. We did BB King. We went up there and kicked it with Funk Maxi Flex. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What's our boy? We shoot dice with. Uh, God bless his soul. Uh, Big, oh, Cap. Uh, Big Cap. Big Cap. Yeah. That yeah. was our dog, man. Yeah. 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 Nah, Big nah. Cap. Yeah. I mean, that was dope too. You know, when y'all, um, you know, like when with, with Big Cap, like being on being on the song, yeah. and, and, and then y'all even having artists like Jada Kiss. Yeah, Jada Kiss. Yeah. Yeah. Fat Joe. Yeah. Fat Joe. Yeah. 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 So it's, it's interesting because, you know, I was asking you, you know, about you guys, like if New York embraced you or not, and y'all just stuck to y'all sound and y'all made the rest of the map embrace y'all. Right? Yeah, yeah. And some, something that I always thought was really dope, too, was that in the beginning, you guys, it felt like to me, at least maybe when you guys like hit the mainstream, that it wasn't 
just focused on just Atlanta or just the South. Like y'all was featuring with Too Short. Yeah. Y'all was, you know what I'm saying, working with MOP. Yeah. Y'all was, you know what I'm saying, doing stuff with all these other artists. So it was dope. E40, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Wilder, Wilder. yeah you know what I mean? So it was just dope because it seemed like, you know, at least from as a fan and from the outside looking in, it was dope to see you guys keep y'all sound, but then to get all these other artists from these other places to adapt to it, and yeah, you know what yeah. I mean. That was that was our whole focus, man. Like we had the hot sound. Yeah, yeah. that was our whole focus. Yeah. Like, look, we're not gonna we're not gonna come and do a song with somebody and try to use their style. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Even we, even when we doing the MOP songs and the Nas and uh, and the Jada Kids, it's like, nah, we're gonna give y'all the southern sound. Y'all gotta come adapt to us. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And so if you listen to New York now, it sound like a whole bunch of soft stuff. Right, right. You know what I mean? For sure. I ain't saying we started that, but we started that. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but, uh, you know, but can't yeah, deny, man. Can't, can't deny the influence. Now, I mean, we did, uh, we had the verse with uh, Jada Kids and Nas, and I remember John, we got the studio, John was like, yeah, I sent uh, Nas verse back. We were like, why? Because we were like, man, but why, why you sending it back? He was like, nah, Jada Kids came too hard. I told him he got to redo it. He said, I said, you told Nas he got to redo it? He said, <laughs> the lyrics. Man, yeah, he had to redo it, man. And Nas redid it, sent it back, and hey, the rest was history, man. Damn, that's crazy. That's hard. So um, how, how much, like, were you guys involved in terms of, you know, like, features that were going to be on songs or, like, you know, things like that? Like, how, what was the creative process like when you guys were making songs? Like, what was that? Man, it was like, I would, I would do a lot of writing. John did all the beats. And then as far as what the, like the features or whatever, if it wasn't like Scrap It Tree or people like that, that was mostly like John reaching out to the people because with him being at social death, he had a bigger line right. to get to folks. So. Yeah, for sure. And they, you know, they was all like, all right, cool, no problem. You know, with nobody talking about, man, give me 50,000, give me, you know, they were like, man, bitch, okay, I do it, just send me yeah. the track. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But that was, that was before all this emailing and stuff you could do right now. So mm -hmm. I can send somebody a track today. I can send it to them right now while we're doing it. Before we leave here, they might send it back. Like, but I already did the verse. You know what I'm saying? You like, you send it in, it'd be two, three days yeah. before you get it back and stuff like that. But it wasn't even about no money like that. It was just, it was just like doing it for the love. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Um, can you recall like some of your, like, like any of your favorite studio sessions or anything that might have been memorable? You know what I'm saying? Like, because it seemed like. Shit, man, we done work so many well, man. Yeah. I tell you, one memorable studio session with E40. We were shooting dice. We tapped him out. <laughs> we tapped him out on the dice. He was like, man, I ain't got no more money. I like, boy, you go ahead on, boy. It's a, it's a car downstairs. Go and get that money out of the car. Huh. He like, uh -huh. And John coming to us and me, I told him not to shoot dice with them, man. Do not shoot dice with the east side, uh -huh. boy. I'm telling you, they gonna break it. Do not, we don't, we don't have a lot of days on the road with folk that come in and think they can shoot dice with us. Yeah. And me and both take, but we, Take them out of there. Oh, yeah. We'll take them out of there. They're like the little spot Tupac shot got at the little studio. Yeah. Door he got shot. We worked. We worked in that little yeah, spot. Yeah, studio. Yeah, yeah, we worked, worked at, We worked at Puffy Studio. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You know, so we. Done. And Dad is how. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, that's what's up. That's what's up. Oh, you did. <laughs> I want. I didn't go then. <laughs> <laughs> you was in South Carolina. Okay. Y'all was in South Carolina fishing. <laughs> <laughs> he was at Daddy's house. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you stupid. <laughs> Matter of fact, that's what we recorded. Uh, what you gonna do with uh, with Lil Scrappy? Uh -huh. we, we was doing that song there for the uh, Bad Boy Two soundtrack. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. We were doing that up in there, and Puffy, did, Puffy was doing the soundtrack. So we were recording the song up in there, and he coming there and said, "Let me hear what y'all got." We let him hear it, and he was like, "Ah, oh, man, I like the song, but I was looking for another get low." Mm -hmm. We were like, "Bro, you'll never get another get it's low." It's actually worry well, he wants something sexy, <laughs> huh? See that when I was in South Carolina. Uh, okay. I was in yeah. South Carolina fishing that yeah, day. Yeah, yeah. No, I, just heard, I just heard it on the phone. Yeah. <laughs> While I was fishing. I just know he came in there fully dressed like everybody dressed now. And then he came back about 12 minutes later and had on some damn, we had some slippers in a I wasn't there. <laughs> I was fishing, I told him. But he came back, he had on a damn robe draped over like there with some slippers on. Oh, man. Let me hear what y'all got, man. Ah, oh, man, I want to hear something sexy. <laughs> I was looking at it like, bro, where your clothes at? Man, come on, come on. This ain't that type of studio party. Where your clothes at? So speaking of Get Low, man, that song was so <laughs> impactful to the culture. Uh, can you talk about, like, what was y'all, did y'all record that all together? Yeah. Like, how'd that yeah. come about? Man, we was, matter of fact, I think I was out of town or something and came back in town and John had called studio. 
So everybody be over there, and uh, me and one of the yin-yang twins was in the, in the little room doing the hook, piecing the hook together. And then Bo come, the other yin-yang twin come, John already in there, and man, we just, we knocked it on out, man. Yeah. See, us and yin-yang, we like family to this day, man. Uh, we still, yeah, yeah, we still, yeah. still uh -huh. rock show together here and there. Yeah. yeah. Still uh -huh. talk to each other. We still I mean, y'all. I mean, y'all work together on some of the most classic, you know what I mean? Some of the most classic songs, some of their most popular songs, as well as y'all's. That was our, that was one of our big crossover songs, man. That, yeah. that the first song I seen us do, and the women got doggone stuff, pulling their shirts up, showing their tits. I mean, it's some, some of the most legendary said, lines. we made it! <laughs> some of the most legendary lines in hip hop, from the window to the to wall. The wall yeah. You know what I mean? To the sweat drop down my, you know what I mean? Sweat like, drop down my ball. I mean, and all the way to the point to where oh, the they, best part is uh, ski, all the way to the point to man, ski, oh, ski, 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 yeah, you know Skeeter. I mean? right. we, were, we were Skeeters. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, we was in Paris and we was in Paris. We were doing a radio station and uh, like we'll talk to them in English and then I had somebody translate it to them in French. Yeah. And then they talked to us in French. Somebody translate us, translate to us in English. And we come out the studio, man, about 20, 30 people just out there like, I'm like, well, it's like some old, old school. Uh, temptation type stuff, man. <laughs> and all they all they knew was, doom doom doom. Oh, ski 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 ski. Huh. They know no more English. All they knew yeah. was doom 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 and ski 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 ski. How crazy is that to be in other countries yeah. that don't all speak they English do, man. and they, they know ski, all ski. They words. ski, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? They were They're cool. skeeters, yeah. Right. They're <laughs> skeeters, huh? <laughs> they were cool though. Yo, so um. I mean, with that too, like it was that song was so impactful, influential that even Dave Chappelle did a skit yeah, on it. Yeah, and, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Even took it even further. You know yeah, what I mean? Right. We actually did the Dave Chappelle show, but they said the taping didn't turn out right. So that's how him and John ended up doing something real quick. Oh, okay. But it was uh, it was us and Yin Yang. All the, oh, word. Yeah. Wow. No, nah, that, 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 that's classic. That's legendary. We hung out in uh, Miami one time though. Remember we were down in Miami, we hung out with Dave. We were walking yeah. down the street seeing Dave. Yeah. yeah he would start walking with us. Yeah. So yeah, we were, Dave, he cool. Man, what y'all think about that boy Cat Williams airing everybody out, man? Hey, man, hey, it, it, that's the, this the year, man. <laughs> airing everybody out. Get everybody aired out, I'm telling you. That boy started off the year dropping what did, bomb. What did he say? Man, what did he say? Oh, I was out of time. What did you say? I'm, I'm, I'm going to air all them out in a minute. Right? I'm going to air all them out in a minute. Right? Say, you, say, <laughs> say, 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 say you coming with your Cat Williams ball. Damn. Damn. <laughs> and what was it like recording uh, Be A Be A? Like, what was it like recording the song? And then what was it like shooting the video? Because the video was yeah. so legendary. Like, Man, it was cold in here. Well, like it is now, it was cold. And we was getting wet in them. That back when you wear the big clothes, we had the big Sean John. Um, Cause uh, the video, y'all in the club and like the uh, what the nah, fire? Not the beginning, not the, the beginning. Like the fire uh, extinguisher was going on, not the fire. Nah, nah, that was that was in the middle of the video, yeah, but right. the beginning of the video, doing our verse, we was in the damn Sean John <laughs> with the water going on. Oh, uh, jeans suit shoot China on. White, yeah. yeah. Water going on. Cause we had to shoot. See what it was. We had to shoot China White scene real quick because she had to go turn herself in. Okay. So after we shot that, shot her stuff, uh, her and John, they left and went to New Orleans so she could turn herself in the next day. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So other, other than that, I can just say that we were the first person to put a swim pool in the bounce. Yeah, y'all shot the whole video in the water, basically. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah. We, we were the first person to put a swim pool in the bounce. We had two shorts in the video yeah. with the rain coming down, the girls holding the umbrella for them and all that type stuff, yeah. yeah. Word. And that's ill too because, you know, like I was talking about earlier, how a lot of y'all early songs had people like Too, you know what I'm saying, was featuring people like Too Short, but then even also just how impactful even, you know, all of you guys were to Too Short's career and even like his next phase. Yeah, that was, that was, that was, that was, that's an unk, man. You know yeah. what I'm saying? To this day, you know, that's unk. Man, short. we used to go with Short House, man. His mama cook us some fried chicken. Ooh, huh. We got in the studio with his house, man. Just. Just sitting back there, man, just he, cooling. He man. actually let us record our second album in his studio for free. Uh. They didn't charge us nothing. Yeah. We come over there every day, record, record, record. He ain't charge nothing. Damn, that's crazy. That's dope. That's dope. And was that here? Uh, yeah, in Atlanta. Atlanta. Okay. His house in Atlanta, yeah. 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 He had two houses here, but it was the house that he stayed in yeah. that we was recorded. He had another house with his 
engineers and producers stay at around the corner, but we yeah. recorded at his house, though. Right. So you guys had a lot of success uh, with, with your first few albums, but then um, when Crunk Juice came out, that was like really like it, it seemed like more of the mainstream success, you know, even came, you know, there, like a lot of the big, biggest hits, you know what I'm saying, was on that. Like, what was that experience like coming into recording that project? Man? I, it, was, it was good. That was our last album we recorded. That's right. the one we had R. Kelly on, yeah. Dave Chappelle on, uh, Chris Rock was on there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, we had all the big names on that one right there. You know, we, we really extended the hand out for all the big names and stuff like that, man. And, uh, that, was, that was a nice album, man. I'm still waiting on my plaque. I seen, I seen somebody. I was, somebody was on Instagram. They had a plaque in their office. They must had three times platinum crunk juice. Oh, so I just want to get my one. Can I get a one platinum? Huh? You gotta get a gold. Yeah, need, you need get a, one. We gonna get a bronze. Split. Can I get need a bronze? Wall, <laughs> yeah. Can I get a wood? <laughs> <laughs> need that. <laughs> Sam, where the uh, guys can come from, bro? Where the inspiration man, from that come from? I'm gonna tell you this story. Man, we should ride all the time. We used to always give out the gas, man. No, I'm just playing. I, I was in South Carolina. He did all that. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we uh, we was down in uh, Daytona, man, back with uh, black the Black Beach weekend, yeah. spring break. We would walk. We were down there, and I mean, we was on the bus. It was traffic, and I'm in the back, uh, back of the bus, looking out the window, and I seen these three guys walking down the street with gas can. I was like. Man, he drinking out of gas can. So I run up to the front, tell him, hey man, man, let them do, man, they drinking out of gas can. So we stuck in traffic and I said, that go a stove. I feel gonna give me a gas can. And I ran out to get off the bus, ran up there, got one, and him and John came, following behind me, they got one. So that weekend we were drinking out of the gas can, but we get ready to go back home. I said, man, where y'all gas can at? Oh man, we left that in the room. I was like, well, this mine then. I'm gonna keep it, I'm gonna stay with it. And I've been with it since got that what, since 2002. Yeah. Huh. No, nah, that's legendary. I mean, people know y'all like when they see that. Twenty one years, boy. <laughs> you you almost, you almost can't go nowhere like that. That's synonymous to you, like the uh, Pastor Troy with yeah, the belt, championship belt. belt. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like that's that's something like you almost you you can't leave home without it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah. I got a couple of them at the house that some old one. Yeah, send around. Nah, that's what's good, man. And uh, and, and then after the interview, uh, we're going to also show them uh, the DGB off the porch custom gas can. Okay, you know what yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh okay. yeah. Hey, plug, yeah, he, he plugged it in and out. Yeah, he's like, he's like, he's like, he's like, he plugged it in and out. He plugged it in and out. Hey, we got to show love, you know what I'm saying? It's all good, man. No, man, for real, for real. So, Lovers and Friends, that song was was is you know legendary i mean all the way to the point to where now usher has a festival yeah you know what i'm saying named after that song uh um, how did that song come about do y'all well the original song came from a guy named michael sterling out of uh florida out of miami and um it was like a it was a hood song up here in atlanta like you play that skate ring everybody gonna go skate you play at a party but they finna be freak dance slow dance all kind of stuff so yeah you know, we figured let's do the song again. We just messed up because we didn't reach out to Michael Sterling and he sued us for a million dollars. Uh, did he get it? Oh, he got all of it. He uh, got the whole meal. It wasn't no breakdown. It wasn't no nine, 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 nine. No, it was a whole meal. He got the whole meal. Yeah. yeah so, yeah. But, you know, we cool, though. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't no bad blood. I, I, yeah. Matter of fact, I seen him at the Winterfest. Me and him were talking. Oh, okay. He was like, man, we got to do some music. I was like, hey, man. They do it. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, it wasn't no bad blood in there. I know, like, that had to be an interesting, like, you know, one of your interesting introductions to the music business. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, because we had a lot of people that were in, in play. I even told John, I said, man, why don't you go with Mike Sterling and see if he, you know, still got the chops want to sing it. You know, he might want to sing the song. Huh. He's like, nah, I'm going to let Usher do it. I'm like, all right. So, we let, we let, usually let John and the labor handle all that clearances and all that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that one just came back and bite us in the ass, but you know, it's all good. Yeah, nah, I mean, it, it happens. Everybody I mean, got had, those types of stuff. I mean, we had the money, the money was there, so we worry yeah. about it. Nah, nah, I can dig it, I can dig it. Um, were you guys a part of the creative process, like when it came to any of the other albums, like Trillville or like Scrappy or, um, you know, any of those other projects that came out through the label? Nah, nah, that was, that was all them, man. That, okay. was, that was them, man. You know, they were coming out of high school with it, so yeah. they already had they, what they were going to do and, you know, had they, they had yeah. their fan base, they high school fan base, they threw parties and stuff. 
and, and they perform, and they part, they perform, and stuff like that. So that was all them. So like little Scrappy, little Scrappy's been on the road with us yeah. almost everywhere we go, man. Yeah, yeah then we yeah. start bringing yeah, trivia. He was long out. moving around. With yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's been on the road with us. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, he'd be with us, and, had, and we were bringing trivia out sometime. But it was most of Scrappy that were with us, though. Right. Yeah. Right. I could dig it. Uh, what would you guys say is one of the biggest life lessons that you've learned um, coming up in the game? I mean, whether it's in life or even in the industry. Man, the industry gets your contract straight. Hmm. Get that paperwork. The paperwork is the main thing, big dog. Yeah. I'm tell you right now. If, if anybody tell you, no, nah, no, nah, but I got you. Don't do it. Hmm. Go get, do your, get your lawyer. Don't fall yeah. for the banana in the, the tailpipe. tailpipe. <laughs> yeah, that's real. <laughs> that's all I can tell you. Don't fall for the banana in the tailpipe, man. Yeah. I hear a lot of people uh, talking about, like, protecting your intellectual property. You know what I mean? Making yeah. sure, like, you got ideas, you got things like that, like making yeah. sure to protect that. I had, I had a couple of ideas stole from me, but, you know, we'll come back and talk about it. Nah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I think as creatives, we all experience that. You oh, know yeah, what I mean? yeah, yeah. Like, you always hear about people talking about TV shows they wrote or a film they wrote or something yeah. like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just kind of. Uh, America uh, got talent. They took that from me. I mean, we was in the, we was in the uh, studio one day. I said, but you know what, but America got talent. You said it just like that. Said it just like that. Uh, Get what? Man, yeah. America got talent. Hey, that is. There it is. Look, Dad got talent. We're gonna put this in. I'm gonna put that in there. See, even to put you out. Put you out. Be careful. Be careful. <laughs> Be careful, buddy. <laughs> Yo, one of my favorite songs too from you guys is uh, "White Meat." Oh Ray yeah. Ball and JG. Yeah, yeah. Did yeah, you that, guys uh, record that in the studio together? Yeah, we did, man. But we did and we didn't. Cause MJG came. He he don't smoke. <laughs> he don't smoke MJG. We look. Why it was time he tried to go in the booth. MJG in that moment like that. He sleep. I said, man, how much y'all gonna try to smoke, man? He just got out the plane, man. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, man, this is my first time really meeting them. So I'm like, but I know they smoke. So I'm, I'm got all stuff ready, rolled up, over and smoke. Yeah. Man, look at that man. got blunts in there like this, that man. That man would not oh, die, bro. He in there rolling Ext the stendo before they came yeah, out, they man. Took, yeah. They took her home. They were like, man, we're gonna take y'all back to the room, man. So we left. He was still asleep, but we came back in that day. He had already did it verse. Yeah, they, he said we, it out. they said when y'all left, he woke up, did it verse, just went in there and did it. Yeah. He ain't write nothing, nothing. He just boom, went in yeah. there and did it more. Yo, um, the term crunk music is interesting because, you know, a lot of people say that it uh, was invented in Memphis, that 3 Six Mafia, you know, started crunk music. Um, you know, here in Atlanta, of course, you know, they're going to say, you guys started crunk music. You know what I mean? Um, have you guys ever been in those debates? Have y'all ever, you know what I mean? Like, I always say it came from Memphis, man. I always say Three Six Mafia did it, cause you know yeah. they had the song "Tie the Club." Tie the club, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's a crunk song, oh, but sure. they just went calling it crunk. Right. So we were the first people to put crunk on the map. Yeah, they like, was just this saying, is crunk music because yeah. yeah. they were saying get bugged. Yeah, yeah. Get that's crunk, crunk music. Get bugged, that's, that's but they weren't calling. They weren't calling it that. Right. Right. They were calling it Tell the Club" up music. Yeah, no, nah, for sure, for sure. So we just came out and just called it crunk, and then. Yeah. As the things went on, they, the award shows started putting crunk um, category, yeah. crunk categories in their yeah. award show. No, nah, for trying sure. Trying to get it stuff. I'm glad they did, cause we got a couple of them awards. Huh. We still the king. Got hey, got two, sure. three billboards. We awards. still the king yeah. now. Huh. The king. The king. <laughs> <laughs> what you guys um, working on right now, man? Tell me what y'all guys got coming. We got up. a new single called "What the Business Is," man. Okay. Yeah. You know. New album get ready to come out. You know the album done, but we just still record. Okay. So by the time we get through record, we might have a double album. <coughs> well, the new album we got song with C Murder, T Pain, Trivia, Trivia, Yin Yang, Yeah, uh, Bone Crusher, Mark, yeah. uh, uh, Prince Market D. Yeah. Yeah, we redid uh, the Fat Boys. Oh, okay. Classic yeah. Fat yeah. Fat Boys. Yeah. That's we may say up. East Side Side Boys. So. And we got Prince Market D on there. Awesome. R.I.P. to the legend. Yeah, that's hard. Yeah. We did something with my aunt, too. I ain't going to tell you her name, but yeah, we did something yeah. with my aunt. And we're called Sweet Cake Potato Pies. <laughs> <Huh>. <laughs> Sweet Cake Potato Pies. I'm telling you, boy, they on there clapping, too, boy. Huh. <laughs> Taking the church on it? Yeah. <laughs> they clapping, boy. Yeah. We got the bishop. The bishop bring the van out. But I'm telling you, boy, it's going out. Bishop Douglas bring the van out. And the people get in and the going church down. van. We call it the church van. Huh. Yeah. Did um did you guys record music 
like during your hiatus, were you guys recording music yep. or or this music or, or is this album like all newly recorded, just fresh? You know what I mean? Like what was Man, it's new. It's new. It's some old stuff that ain't nobody heard, so it's still new to you. You know what I'm saying? So we we always stay recording. And matter yeah. of fact, our manager he dropped us off at the studio, so I bet y'all can't come up with a song. Oh, sure uh, did, but y'all don't know what y'all doing. Okay. Yeah. First time, first time, time, I'm just gonna drop y'all off. I'm left us at the studio too. Y'all yeah. don't know what y'all doing. I see y'all later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Called him back about an hour later. Hey man, we done. He like, huh? So, so man, when y- when when y'all dropped Crunk Juice, I mean there was so much energy around y'all. I mean, yeah. literally had the Crunk Juice energy drink. I mean, just so much influence on the culture, mainstream, everything. I mean, like, wh- where were you guys at, like, during this hiatus? Like, what was, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, man, we, we're still around, man. You know what I'm saying? We're still doing shows. and uh, I started doing, like, trying to help other artists out, doing open mics and stuff, like, hosting open, open mics for them, yeah. putting open mics together and stuff like that for them. Yeah. And still going on the road doing shows and stuff like that. But I, I got through that open mic, man. There were too many people doing them, like, I like, but it's over mic three times a week in Atlanta, God. Oh. Yeah. Oh, they don't know which one to go to. I had to start making mine free. Yeah. Yeah. I can dig it. And do, and do you guys feel like, because, you know, you hear about, you know, some, like, artists or actors, you know what I'm saying, who've had a lot of success, and then they've taken time off. Like, yeah. were you guys at, at any point, like, almost burnt out, burnt out from the industry or, like, from different things or, you know what I mean? Man, I was, man. I just, man, I like. I love this, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like, it pay the bills. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Keep the lights and the heat on. Keep the telephones on, you know what I'm saying? Oh, you got a telephone right now? Yeah. <laughs> Damn, I, I didn't got, come by that unit, boy. I just got cut back on last week, man. <laughs> yeah, been off for like 15 years, and I just got cut back on. Same, same old number, too. Yeah. Same number. Yeah. yeah, man, so you know, we still got house phones, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm old school, man. I got a house phone. I still got the oven where you got to put the wood in there and burn the wood. Oh, man. man. I'm old school, old school, man. (laughs) I just got my bag phone fixed. I'm back in there. It went with Verizon, though. Y'all got my bag phone. Yeah. (laughs) Man, Sam's still still, still, still playing vinyl at the crib. Yeah, yeah, I still got the vinyl. I'm playing, you know what I'm saying? Don't bring no CDs in my house, man. (laughs) Don't bring no, you bring a CD, I'm throwing it down the street. Uh, you got the brain the vine. I need that 12 inch or the 45. Huh. You got the little thing to go in the middle? Yeah, I got the little thing going in the middle for the uh, 45. Okay. I, that's what I'm doing, man. I'm, I'm old school, man. Yeah. I still make my mashed potatoes with milk. You use milk? Nah. You don't use milk, do you? I know you don't. I, I use get, milk. I get the one you put the water with and whip up by five minutes. You know what I'm talking about? I still Quit. use milk. I still use milk. <laughs> Yeah, I just remember what I was about to talk to y'all about earlier when we was talking about the 3-6 Mafia and crunk music and all that. So, you know, like chant music, it seemed like from like Houston, like artists like, like, like when horrorcore started, you know, artists like Gangsta Nip and, yeah. you know, K Reno, Klondike Cat, like cats like that, they was doing a lot of chanting in the music, but it was more, like I said, on that horrorcore tip. 3-6 Mafia, you know what I'm saying, took it to another level. And then y'all, you know what I'm saying, have y'all, you know what I'm saying, sound with it. But yeah. were you guys into some of that stuff back then? Or? Them people you just named, I ain't heard none of them, but okay. I was definitely into 3-6 and um, Skinny Pill. Yeah. DJ Squeaky. Yeah, Squeaky, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Tom, DJ Squeaky Tom was just Ski here Man. yesterday. Yeah. Tom Ski Mad, that's my dog. Yeah, that's okay, our partner, yeah. Tom Ski yeah, yeah, Man. Yeah. DJ Squeaky and uh, Criminal yeah. Man. But I, got, I got my chant stuff from uh, DJ Jim. Okay. Out of New Orleans. Okay. They do it, baby, stick it, baby, do yeah, it, baby, stick yeah, it. That was a whole so. chant record. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's shake there, a little hard up. I oh. think I might buy you a starter. Uh, yeah, but I'm trying yeah. to tell you. I, so I got to shake that ass, you're going to buy a starter. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to buy a starter, a yeah. Wilson or something. I'm going to get a jacket. I'll buy a jacket. i get a jacket. Ain't going to be no starter. It'll be a jacket. You know, got to really be shaking to get a starter. Hey, man, a jacket is a jacket. <laughs> you want to be cold or you want to be warm? That is. Starter ain't going to necessarily make you warm. <coughs> i get you a coat make you warm. You want a Pico? Uh-huh. i get a Pico. Pico should be warm. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, so when the next project dropping? Uh, let me see. Two months ago, they said three months. So, so how many months left now? About two more months. Oh. <laughs> two months. You got to ask the record label. Two huh. months ago, they said coming out in three months. 
So I say three more months. Wow. And what else can we be expecting from y'all in 2024? What else y'all got coming? Uh, they say I got a coming show coming, but I don't know. Yeah. Okay. It okay. all depends. I might get one. Huh. You know what I'm saying? But uh, T.I. doing comedy now? So. I'm talking to come to this show. I ain't talking about going on stage. I'm talking about on your TV. Uh. Put a camera in front of me, I'm going to be on your TV. Uh. Uh, it's going to be called Macaroni and Tony. But the new album got crunk music, music for the ladies, music for the kids. Yeah. We got a dance song that we think the kids gonna like. It's gonna be a real TikTok hit. I know that already. Yeah. TikTok gonna love it. So, yeah. yeah we, we still got the bass line. Everybody like that crunk music. Bush in the head. You know what I'm talking about? Man, what y'all think y'all songs would have did if TikTok was around oh, when all y'all hits was dropping? Oh, people been knocked out. But oh, real. I can see TikTok now, but it'd be a whole bunch of people knocking themselves out. <laughs> Coming through there with fake glass bottles. Yeah, man. If they had the internet like they got now, yeah, yeah, we'd have, we'd have ran that up. Yeah, you talking about going viral? But we had we had some shows that they could have went viral at. Huh. We had a show we performed in Dallas, and the dude they they got to fighting. We were about to stop, you know, you know let them fix it up. Yeah, the promoter said, uh, uh-uh, y'all keep performing. He grabbed the mic, said, y'all keep performing. We kept on performing while they were fighting. People just moved out the way, and they got through fighting. The security threw the dude out. They got beat up. Everybody came back to the middle of the cr- uh, flow like when nothing happened. Huh. Like then nothing happened. Yeah. We I did mean, a show, that, we that did a show in Arkansas, put your hood up, we yeah. couldn't even finish. Yeah, for our BET. Yeah. For BET, we, they, they flew us out there and we didn't get to really do the thing. Every time we started the song, put your hood up, everybody started throwing their gang sign. Huh. And they were like, hold on, hold on, y'all can't do that. Look, we trying to bring something to y'all, y'all can't do that. Yeah. They were like, all right. We did like two more times. They were like, don't worry about it. Hey, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, y'all. Y'all got y'all money, so don't worry about it. We're like, yeah. good, then. Went back to the hotel and we're drinking with the police. Yeah. Yeah. Police was out there, car, police car running and everything. Where we in the drink? Yeah, just taking shots. Taking shots with the police. Huh. We were drinking shit called Beef Eaters. Beef Eaters, hold me. Police kept talking about, hold me. <laughs> what the hell is that? Is that is talking about he in the police suit, gun, everything. Yeah. Police yeah. car. Police car that running. Is that like Jaeger or something? Nah, it's, uh, oh, uh, it's I, white. It's I think it's like a vodka or something. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's, it's a clear. Yeah. It's, like it's a clear. Yeah. It wasn't no clear tequila. It was a. It's some old shit. Yeah. It's beef, beef eater. eater. Don't. It said on the bottom. Beef don't never eater. go in the ask, don't ask for that shit. Yeah. That ain't what you want. <laughs> you drink that beef eater, but you gonna be trying. Hold me. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, so y'all, y'all, y'all been going to the strip clubs in Atlanta uh, for a nice little minute. We was talking about that earlier. What's like some strip club etiquette that you would, you know, share with you know folks that might be you know new to coming to the strip clubs in the A or folks that just don't know what the hell they doing? Well, blue flame. First, first thing, like he said, <laughs> your etiquette is make sure you got the money. Huh. Can't let me come to him with no hundred dollars. See, I go in there with a roll of quarters. Like, well, with see, quarters. see, they make it rain in the strip club. We make it hell. Huh. We make it hell. You know what I'm saying? Thunderstorm called for a chance of hell today, got there. I got a hundred dollar quarter for you. Yeah. But now, nah, man, um, just go in there, man. Just be respectful. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They say don't touch, don't touch. You know. Unless you go in the VIP, then you know you touch all you want, you know. Yeah. You know, but like he said, though, make sure you got some money. That's the main thing. You gotta have some money. You can't go to the strip club hundred dollar no more. I'm right. telling you, hundred dollar you gonna be mad. By the time you buy you a drink, get something to eat, and get a dance or two, but you gonna be like, I got, I need something for some I gas. Mean, oh, yeah, you I better mean, pay five dollars to park. I was just about to say, oh, yeah, you, you gotta, gotta, gotta pay for parking. You got a hundred dollars. It's forty to park. It's forty to yeah, get yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, you only got twenty. <laughs> you got you, you can get one drink when you walk in well, there. You better play to go at Blue Flame, five dollar table dance. Yeah. Then. <laughs> I tell you, you give it a pan all day, you get your least two table dance. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Get you a drink. You got to stop at that Wendy's to get something to eat on the way out, though. Yeah. I get that. What cities outside of Atlanta got the best strip clubs? St. Louis. Uh, I ain't never go to that one. Texas. Yeah, Texas. In Miami. Miami. Roll it, old school roll it. We went to the strip club in Texas, like everybody in there on on the oil well or something. Yeah, had man. Little, had on a little bit chic hats yeah, in there. Yeah, everybody and was the in there. Like key chair. We were like, I don't and know. We got another being him, boy. Right. And it wasn't a the club. They told us. I remember they told us, hey, right, hey you got to put your shirt in. You got to put on a button up shirt. You got to tuck it in. I'm like, yeah, nah. What kind of club is it? But they sitting around there. Them, them guys sitting around there like like. Like Arabian princes, uh, yeah. princes like they own the gas station or something. Like, 
And it, anyone there but a titty bar. Yeah, they just oh, took wow. the top. We, yeah, we, we didn't stay top. long. We left. Nah, we, we left. Stay long. We left. We went to the. We went took to the. Took that shit. Club. I went to the hood club. Yeah. 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 We came out that motherfucker. Take the shirt yeah. out, man. We went to the ass club. I remember going to a strip club in L.A. and they just had like the pasties on with the little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We went. Yeah. We went to L.A. Yeah. Too. Yeah. Something like that. I ain't. Gonna, I ain't. You can't give me two, three hundred one. I ain't gonna spend it. I'm just telling you the truth. We might well go out to the car for how much, y'all? You give me two, three hundred. Get over it. Throw them in my pocket. I'm going to throw them right in my pocket. Yeah. So they be like, but he got a lot of money in his pocket. I sure do it. You ain't getting none. Wow. Not with these pasties on. Right. Nah, we, hey, one more. Money. It was a, uh, at a strip club we went to in Texas. Diamond. Diamond, yeah. Woo, yeah. Huh. Got to check that guy out. What yeah. part of Texas? Dallas, OK, yeah. Dallas, Texas. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to Dallas, Fort Worth. Yeah, yeah, love Dallas. The Triple D. Oh, yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up. So, um, y'all got any uh, shout outs or anything y'all want to, you know, let the fans know before we get out of here? Hey, man, check us out. We're coming to a city near you. Got our uh, artists on the label right here. Little, little, little uh, dab. The little smoker. He's been smoking the whole damn time. <laughs> little dab. <laughs> little dab, man. The little dab hip hop. Yeah, yeah. We got the other the sidekick over you here. You know what I'm saying? Coming to a city near y'all, man. We coming. We out here. Yeah, man, we don't trust me, man. We coming. Y'all hear the name, just come on out and know you're gonna get a great show. Yeah. Like it used to be. You know what I'm talking about? We ain't we ain't lost a step. I promise you. We coming, we bring you the old music and the new music. Yeah. And I, I might do Planet Rock. Oh. And, you know, yeah, I might I might redo Planet Rock and then you know. And I'm gonna do the worm across the stage. <laughs> you know what, what the business is, new single, y'all check that out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then the next single is with uh Trivia, Yin Yang and Bone Crush called Get Them. And uh no. That's a head buster. And we got the song with yeah. T Pain, we just gonna leak out on y'all. So you'll never know. We're gonna leak it out. You never yeah. know where you might be at now. You might be at the Amico get some gas. Huh. Might pull up and just leak it out and know. Hey. <laughs> yeah. That's what's up. That's Done what's that up. records, man. Day one management. We are on the way. Call me, girl. I'm on the way. <laughs> man, appreciate y'all boys pulling up, man. Jumping off the porch. Appreciate you us. bringing us, man. Appreciate you, man. Yeah, yeah. no, much yeah. love. For real. I'm about to jump out the porch now. Yes, <laughs> I'm about to jump right <laughs> out the mud. Into right, the camera. So. Baby girl, me and you been friends for a while. But last night you crossed the line and got a while.